I'm gonna reveal to you the two and a half hours that literally changed from my life from being almost depressed with living with no purpose and no fulfillment in my life. And then I started doing these these two things that took up two and a half hours and it literally transformed my life to living the most fulfilled life possible. As if I'm living my life to the fullest every single day. And not only that, I started learning so much and building up to the success that I am currently sitting at right now. And I still have a long way to go. Now the two habits is reading and writing. My name is Wada and I hope other young men like me take back control of their lives. You know what, let's, let's take off these glasses because it's giving me a headache. Yeah, we got another inside video today. I'm sorry, it's currently raining. It is pouring it, so I can't really get my camera out wet because I tried filming and it kind of died. I worried I broke it. I'm glad I haven't. <laughs> first things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope things have been all right. Now, I read for at least one hour a day. It's not a lot. Minimal of one hour a day. And then I spend one and a half hours writing what I've just read into a diary or a journal of sorts. I have mine right here. This is my sort of like book that I write everything in. And that's basically what these videos are. Me reading about information and then testing it out myself and then writing down what I've learned and what I've interpreted from the information that I've learned. And then I talk about my experiences to other people such as yourself. Now imagine you read one hour a day and you wrote down what you read one and a half hour a day. Bunch of new books, Atomic Habits, Where the Superior Man, Wabi Sabi, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Imagine you read all of these super beneficial books that have a lot of things that can help you learn so many new things. Just an hour a day and then you wrote down and consolidated what you read. Just a, an hour and a half a day. Imagine in a year's time how many new things you would have learned. You would have learned over a hundred new ideas, new things that would be literally concrete in your memory in a year's time. Imagine that. You can see how th these two habits can literally build and get you to a successful level. Imagine if you literally just read books that were to do with business, the psychology behind the business, the process on actually making the business and how to make a business successful. By the way, what I just said, those are all books that you can actually buy and read. Imagine you just read them. You don't even need to buy them. You can read online. Imagine you just read books like that for a whole year straight and you read and you wrote and you just read and you wrote which when you get into the habit, it doesn't take a huge amount of your time. Imagine at what you could do with the information that you've learned over a year, over a small, tiny habit. Now, I'm gonna build and start going into each different sort of habit, reading and writing, so where you can consistently do it easily, literally as if it's like taking a breath, like that easy, consistently for the next year, every single day. Now I'm gonna dive first into reading. Reading is time consuming. It is time consuming, especially if you don't focus on the page that you're reading and then you get to the bottom of the page and then you realize you haven't actually processed anything you've just read. So you've got to restart that page. Yeah, look, I've been there. I've been in your exact position where I find it struggling to even read properly. Like I know exactly what that's like. So how can you actually suddenly go from that to reading an hour a day. You don't have to do that hour straight. Literally every time you're maybe at work and you're sort of like on your break and you're just scrolling on Instagram, instead of scrolling on Instagram, pick up that book and read literally two to five pages. So instead of scrolling on Instagram, TikTok for 20 minutes, just read two to five pages instead of that book you're trying to learn. Now in a year's time, Guess how many pages you would have read. I don't know why I think you're going to be able to guess that. You would have read over more than 1,500 pages. Two and to five pages a day in that 20 minutes, right? But obviously you're not aiming to do just 20 minutes. You're aiming to do more than that. So you're going to be reading so much just from deciding to read a little bit instead of scroll on Instagram a little bit during your break. 
Now, what I recommend, uh, which is what I do, because books are expensive, they're not cheap, especially if you start getting really into it, you'll be spending 15 to 20 pounds on each book you buy. That can be quite pricey. So what I've done, which I am gonna recommend to you, I've been testing this out for like a couple weeks now, because I don't wanna give you like false information, which I haven't experienced myself. So I wanna test everything out first before I tell you guys about it, so I can tell you my benefits from this, my experience, so you can avoid my mistakes. Now, an app I've been using is DeepStash. I'm not sponsored, I'm not, literally, I've just like downloaded it and just tried it out. Now, DeepStash basically prides himself on you mindfully scrolling instead of doom scrolling. So it's an app that costs me 15 pounds for three months. So that's five pounds a month. And it has all those books that I've just mentioned. It has all of them. It has Atomic Habits, it has the psychology behind business, it has how to live a happy life, how to find your purpose, where the superior man. It has all of those books, not just that, it has all of those podcasts that you're trying to get into on self-improvement. Andrew Huberman, Hamza, it has all of these podcasts like down in written form, so you, in like scrolling form. So it's like a paragraph and then you read it and then you scroll to the next paragraph and it's bullet pointed it all down for you, which is amazing, right? That sounds too good to be true for five pounds a month. Well, it's genuinely a thing. I've been reading it and it's actually really, really, really good. But it's not just like, oh, it has all these books. You have to go through and like answer all the questions because it personalizes it for you. What you want to focus on. Maybe you want to focus on business. Maybe you want to focus on self-improvement. For me, I just clicked everything. <laughs> so it's given me everything. But you can focus specifically on what topics you want to focus and read on. So I just thought I'd give that advice to you because maybe you don't want to buy loads of books. And this is kind of like a way around that. Now, writing. Writing, there's not really much to say about it because you're basically just writing down what you've read, what you've learned. But obviously, you're not going to copy what you've re you're reading for a word for word. There's no point in that. You'll read for, you know, 20 minutes or so, a couple times throughout your day. So maybe you'll read for 20 minutes in the morning, then 20 minutes on your break, 20 minutes on lunch, afternoon, right before you go to bed. And every time you write, just write down what your brain takes in. Because your brain's going to take in different parts. It's going to focus on things differently and it's going to interpret it. Interpret it. It's going to interpret things differently. So when you go over your own notes, your brain will have structured things that kind of personally relates to you. You'll be able to read your notes much more clearly than anyone else will. Everyone's brain is unique. They write things differently. And not only that, just writing things down sort of helps you sort of remember like what you've read. So you're not just reading like like sort of like mind blank and just kind of like not really processing the information you're reading. You're reading and then you're actually writing. So you're actually processing and like solidifying the information that you've just learned. There's not really much else I can go into writing. That's probably the best thing that I like I, I could do. Um, and then I prefer writing by hand. You can write by like notes and like your laptop and stuff, but to be honest, in my personal opinion, I don't really like learn or like remember the things I write down by laptop because I can write really, really quickly. I can type really fast, whereas I'm taking my time to write on an actual notebook. I'm taking my time to make it look nice. And also you can carry this everywhere. It's way more portable than a laptop. You just need this and a pen. And to be honest, a book will last, long, last you a really long time. This cost me five quid and I still have... Actually, wait, no, I am running out of pages. <laughs> uh, I am, I am, I've got like, I am running out of pages actually. But th I've had this for, what, five months? And that's it. Trust me, these two things, two and a half hours out of your day, will literally make you successful in a year's time. It is that good. You're reading things that are actually beneficial to you and you're writing them down and learning. In a year's time, you will have learned over a hundred new things compared to you right now. And you'll be able to use that information to your advantage. Maybe you learn self-improvement. Maybe you learn how to meditate. Maybe you learn how to be more mindful. Maybe you learn that business and you can teach it to others. You can make money off it. You can actually start living life to the purpose of the things that you're interested in and the things that you read. 
give it a shot for like a week, right? Just start reading, writing, see how it feels, see what kind of impact it has on your life. Just give it a try. What have you got to lose? Literally nothing. It's either that or you're going to spend that time scrolling on Instagram. So I hope things have been all right. I hope things have been good. And I also hope this video helped you out. I'm sorry it's inside. Look, I know, I know the views outside is beautiful. I am so lucky to live in such a lovely countryside. And I want to go out, but it is pouring it down, so I can't. But we will come back with the original setup soon, okay? Like when summer starts hitting and then spring... You know, sun's coming out, it's going to be beautiful, and you guys are going to have the most amazing views. I'm going to go to new places as well. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, I would be really appreciative if you clicked the one that's going to pop up in the corner, kind of on my face, because this video could help you out as well. And if you're not subscribed to me, there's a chance you will never ever find this channel again. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.